Hey guys, Basil Wolf from Grayson Hobby, and today, obviously, you know what the video is about. <laughs> Jumper T16 Pro. <laughs> Alright, guys, you saw our last couple of videos about the FCC debacle um, Jumper was having. FCC certification is official, uh, is uh, on the back of the modules and on the back of the transmitters of sticker with the FCC certification. And we all know stickers are. Like, that's got to be true. They put it on the internet, right? Uh, but these are officially FCC certified and they're also CE, which I think is European certified. Yes. So before one of our past videos, I was mentioning about um, quality and stuff like that. During, this is my conversation with the partner, one of the partners at Jumper. They, to get this FC certified, they had to go back and forth and make tweaks, whatever they do with the FCC, whatever, whatever I don't know. They had to tweak it. And as I said, you had to wait because they said better things are coming. And guess what's better? Uh, the gimbals. The gimbals. So one thing, actually, if you take the module out the back, if you don't know if you have Hall Effect gimbals pre-installed or not, if you pull the module out in the back, it'll actually say the world word Hall in the top right corner. That is means you have Hall Effect sensors pre-installed in your radio. Yeah, if you broke a gimbal, if it's you know just not working, whatever, you can actually get replacement gimbals as well, so they're not going to leave you out in the cold. And we actually have both left and right. Actually, it's left and right because we have a we have a pair of gimbals available. <laughs> they are marked left, but it's right, and they're marked right, but it's left. All right. So now we have the Jumper T16 radio with FCC certification and Hall Effect gimbals. Um, I'm going to say this is pretty much a finished product at this point. So let's take a look what's inside the Jumper T16. Um, comment below. Please remember to subscribe if you like our videos. And or my juggling. Next. And while he juggles, I guess he learned a skill overnight. <laughs> All right, what you got here? All right, so again, what's in the box? All right, so we got the box out. Oh, okay, so we have the USB cord so you can upload, download the radio itself. A neck strap, a screen protector. Oh, that's really nice. That's pretty cool. A foam circle adhesive, some extra springs, possibly heavier tension, lighter tension, I'm not sure, and some gimbal pieces. This looks like replacement pieces for the gimbal unit. So we have the rocker arm here. Yeah, maybe they're trim pieces, like re just replacement parts. So they can include a couple screws, stuff like that, which is nice. Um, the Jumper T16 does not come with batteries. You'll have to open the battery bay on the back side, So the door comes off. And be careful. Yeah, with the wires, because you don't want to cut the wires. And that's why it says that side down. Okay, so you have the battery bay. This holds two 18650 batteries. Let's go ahead and just take the multi-module out. This is installed on the radio, so that's actually a separate part. This is um, compatible with like 900 megahertz systems, external modules, etc., that work with the JR um, and X9D radios and all that. In here, we have a little SD card. And that's the, the basically the This is important. almost, yeah. So this is a 512 megabyte SD card. This is some high dollar stuff right here. This is like the pride of 10 years ago. You can use a two cell LiPo battery if you have one, but you gotta remember it's gonna have to fit in that dimensions, which is kind of a weird size. So you're probably better off doing the 18650s. Nice thing about this battery bay here, it does, if you do put it on a cell checker, it will read individual cells. So guys, if you do have the 18650 battery holder, you can actually plug it in to a cell checker and I do need to charge these batteries very Oh, very that's badly. pretty cool right there. So you can actually check it in a cell checker. The Jumper T16 does not have an onboard charger, so you can't plug a USB into the G T16 and charge your batteries. That way you do have to remove the batteries to charge. Power that sucker up. I want to uh, check this. If this radio will boot up without the SD card. You think we're getting um, I believe the Horus X10, which is what it's based off of, does not boot without. Yeah. No so SD no card. SD card. So guys, you do actually have to have an SD card in here to use the radio. And... If you delete your SD card, we'll put the link below to the current SD card. Yeah. I would highly recommend, if you guys are new to this, go ahead and back up the uh, SD card contents from the default. That way, if you do any up firmware updates or anything like that and screw something up, you can always roll back. Just like if you're updating a quad before you update, back up everything. All right. So what's the big deal about these Hall Effect gimbals? Okay. So the gimbals are kind of a big deal. Uh, the Hall Effect uh, gimbals, instead of ha it, they're magnetic sensors, essentially. Um, if you look on, here's one of the gimbals here. You can see on the side of this, this is a, a magnetic sensor and essentially a magnet on the side. And what it does is it can detect the variation of north and south uh, polarity. Wow. And the nice thing about that is there's no metal metal contact to wear out. So a, a normal gimbal has a potentiometer, which is metal sliding against metal of various resistance. 
and that's how it figures it out. It makes you wear it out. Metal, well, metal. it can get oxidiz- oxidation on it, and it can just basically you start losing. You get jittery centers. You lose your centers. Uh, it wears out over time, and that's when the sticks start wearing out. Okay. So um, Hall this, effects this in theory, better. yeah, the, uh, the magnet deterioration. I think you'll be dead before the magnet's no good. Basically, the whole point of this is a very precise system that's going to be more reliable and less likely to lose. Uh, you know, start having drifting centers and stuff like that. Now, another thing that's cool in this, um, the gimbal actually has a slight inwards and outwards adjustment here. And I'm gonna show you guys on this one, there's actually a little wheel and you can see this moving back and forth. I don't know if you can see that. Well, actually, let's show you from the front. So with that screw, you can see how it's mm -hmm. lowered. You can actually adjust the tilt one way or the other. Now, you don't have a lot. Once it's installed in the radio, you don't have a super large range of adjustment only a few degrees okay. but that's kind of nice because depending on how you hold the radio um if you sometimes you get a little yaw input when you push up if you're a thumber um you can actually adjust that a little bit and depending on even if you're a pincher depending on how you hold the, the position of the radio you mm -hmm. just a little more ergonomics gotcha so it's one little extra feature adjusting. they yeah. thought of let's put that back together and okay. i want to show everybody how this balances all right guys i've never seen this before well actually before we get too okay. far yeah so you put this in heel Remember, this side up. Which side? This side. That side. And you want to make sure your wires are in there. Yeah. And be careful when you're putting the battery on and off because you don't, you don't want to cut those wires. I'm assuming this foam piece actually goes on the back of the battery bay. I'm thinking that just takes up some of the slop. Uh, obviously, you'd pull the adhesive off to put right. it on there. I'm I, thinking all that does is keep it from rattling around because with the... Hear the rattle? Yeah. And you know, you mentioned the foam, because I remember back in the day with, with Spectrum and DX9, there used to be like a horseshoe piece of foam. Yeah, there used with, to be a big piece Yeah, so of foam. it's not a big deal to put a foam in there. That's that's how it is. That way you can put multiple batteries in there. You're not stuck with the, it is paying that to get out. So let's see that. I shook it. Let's just, I'm not going to hear it, but just to put it in there. That's wow. what it is, guys. I'm pretty sure that's what the foam that's is for. That's what I'm going to use mine for. So whether you want it stick it on there or not but if you do you'll want to stick it fairly lower because you got to remember that tab piece has to come down here so you a little right above the do not right about uh, yeah the basically cover up that warning yeah. right so unlike some of the other radios on the market this is cool the jumper radio is balanced that is cool so if you're a pincher so you don't have a radio that's gonna go into your stomach and then the gimbal that. you know you accidentally that. flip up the throttle stuff like that we'll put it around your neck see what happens if we put it around your neck yeah, it still goes up a So, bit. well, that's because I got a stomach. Right. But <laughs> all right, if I, if I was a uh, skinnier person, all right, we'll put them in fit. But basically, it is balanced. Yeah. Um, let's compare that with the QX7. This is the closest competitor price-wise. This has Hall Effect gimbals. Uh, it does have a rechargeable battery in it, which is about the same weight as these 18650s. And let's put it on there and see what happens. All right. Oh Ooh, yeah. And not that's balance. That's one of those things. If you're not paying attention, you're new to it. You go, and all of a sudden, boom, that's hits, bad hits your stomach, and guess what? Throttle gets kicked up, bad things happen. So they do include, FreeSky does have the little armature thing that goes, uh, the arm goes over it to move it, the position back, but that's just because it was poor ergonomics. Yeah. Right, and this one, you don't. I'll pick it right up. That's just a fix or a problem that shouldn't happen. Yeah. All right, for those guys who are new to the hobby, uh, you're asking yourself, what the heck is a multi-protocol radio? In short, what that means is, we have right now we have Free Sky, Fly Sky, Spectrum, Hubson, Traxxas, uh, 20, 30 different protocols, right? And the Free Sky works with Free Sky, the Traxxas works with Traxxas. This one radio, actually do it all. I'm with them all. So we no longer carrying five radios to the field to fly five different uh, quads or airplanes or whatever I have. And this is kind of cool because you can actually do a lot of toy protocols too. Um, not possibly, possibly not everything, but. Pretty damn close. Yeah. Toy car, what's a toy protocol? Like Hubson, SEMA, yeah. stuff like that. The they, crap you find at like Amazon or Walmart. And yeah, there's gonna be some oddballs stuff. out there that might not work yeah. or they're on another one. But uh, there's quite a few configurations where you can find out. Yeah. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the introduction that we've done with the T16 from Jumper, the T16 Pro with the Hall Effect gimbals. Um, we, we have fun doing it. Um, leave us a comment below if you have any specific questions you need to answer with your gimbals and let, hopefully everybody else we can chime in and help everybody program this thing because this is new to us at least yeah to me. so if you're wondering about the software and all that you're going to be using OpenTX and it's going to be very similar to the horse x10 x10s videos that are on the on the internet as this is a radio that you can use multiple modulations on you can do fly sky free sky spectrum etc without having to change receivers so 
if you progress in the hobby, you started off, you had Spectrum Planes, now you're buying Spectrum Quads. Okay, well, you know what? I want more. I want Free Sky. Okay, now I got a Free Sky radio and Spectrum radios. Now I got, I had to bring all the radios to the field, etc. Well, this is a radio that'll do both. Or even so. better yet, you go to a like a yard sale or you go to consignment. Oh, you go to a swap me. And you swap yeah. me and you find Ooh, a yeah. Spectrum airplane, a Fly Sky Quad. Guess what? Boom! You don't, you're done. Yeah. So, in theory, this is one radio that yeah. pretty much does it all. 